Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we're here with another video, and today's video is going to be a merching video. So it's been a while since I've done one of these, and I honestly haven't done a whole lot of merching in the last few months since I started my Hardcore Iron Man, but it's something I want to get back into. So today what we're going to go ahead and do is I've done this before where I start with 1GP and try to work up. What I think I'm going to do in this video is go to free-to-play, grab 1GP from someone, and I'm going to turn that... 1 GP into hopefully about 5 mil over the span of a little less than a week and hopefully in that time I'll be able to go back and trade the person 5 mil and they can buy themselves membership and do whatever they please with it. So with that said let's go ahead and hop on over. World 1's cancer so I think I'm going to go to probably a smaller world. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead, go to Amer- Is it- is it appropriate of me to go to American world, or should I go somewhere else because I'm not American? Alright, fine, I'll go to UK. Alright, well, uh, as most baggers do, gonna go ahead and stand at the GE, and then we'll start spamming off. Alright, alright, I think that's a good message. Need one GP, you won't regret it. This is gonna be flawless, someone's gonna give us some money. It, it's probably a giveaway that I'm on a high-level account, but who knows. Alright, so one walker, this dude's level 6, okay. Uh, the problem is with this, if he gives me 1 GP, I don't know if a level 6 is going to be playing in a week's time. 101 GP? <laughs> alright, alright, this dude's got it. Thanks, man. All I needed was 1, but we can start off with 101. Alright, um, I gotta add this guy real quick. He's not, he's not adding me, come on. Oh, my friends list is full. God. Sorry, um, someone's gotta go. Alright, let's get this guy's backstory. We need a little bit of info before I can take this man's money. Alright, we'll ask him if he's new. I think that's appropriate. Alright, alright, so this dude's buying members tomorrow. He just came back after playing for a while. This is like perfect, so he's gonna be playing, which is really nice. And on top of that, he's gonna be a member, so he's gonna need some cash to start out. Hopefully, I can do this guy in with a little bit of a treat. Alright, so this will be the only plug of the video, so do not fear. I don't plan on talking about them much more than I used to, but if you guys are wondering what site I'm using to find the margins I'll be using for this video, I use GE Tracker. There's a link to their site in the description down below. They have a lot of cool features, some payable, some not. If you guys want to go ahead and check them out, feel free. But that's the service that I'll be using for this video. With that said, let's go ahead and start off with the 101 Jeep. Alright, so right now, apparently from the price that I'm seeing, Granite 500 is apparently worth about, yeah, as you guys can see, actively traded price, 3.5. K. I have 101 GP, so I'll just put in the whole 101 on this. I think that's probably going to be the best way to go about it. Um, hopefully, we can buy that and then sell it off for a 3K profit. It seems like we can do this maybe even within the hour, so hopefully. So now in regards to what we can sell this for, hopefully, th I mean, I, I don't want to be greedy. I'll go 3,200, you know. I'll accept that. That's perfectly fine for my contribution. So uh, it probably only took about 10 minutes to buy, so hopefully it takes a little less time to sell, you know, maybe. There we go. Left for about an hour and a half, but we were able to get it to sell while I was gone, so we easily turned 100 GP into 3,200. So it obviously makes sense at this point to go ahead and just reinvest and say, you know, five or so and see what we can do on top of what we have now. Now, something a little obscure is Kebit Claws. Um, not really too experienced on these myself, but apparently you can buy them for around 600 and sell them for upwards of 13k. Now I'm not really going to, you know, anticipate the 13k necessarily, but this would be something to put some of our money into for the time being. Now I guess it's time to go ahead and wait and see what we can do with them. So basically what I've done now is I went ahead and bought four granites at 500g and basically I have three left. I did sell one for a total of 3.2k and from there I went ahead and bought five of these teleports. Now these teleports aren't often bought and sold so I can trade them for 2.3k, which is more near their actual price and basically this will allow me to turn a 2.5k investment into a little over 11k so definitely not bad at all and working our way up hopefully we can get these to sell there we go would you look at that we were able to sell off all three of the granite for 700 gp each 600 gp profit on each and then all of the teleports for a really good margin 1.8k on each take out this money though up to 17k already turn the 101 into 17 pretty easily now i'm gonna go ahead and uh i think we'll be able to find something pretty decent with 17k all right so it's later at night i'm about to go to bed but i did did end up buying some Gothix pages as you guys can see for 2.8k each so I went and sold those for a 2.6k profit per one now that did make us a little over 5k and right now we have 11k cash two Gothix pages to sell which hopefully will be able to sell for a little over 10k and then some gray hats which are really uh I'm not I'm not all too confident about them basically I bought them for around 1k and earlier they were selling for a lot now obviously not as much so 930 that's not great. Um, we're just going to try to put them in for at least a little bit of a profit at 1.9k. Here we go. It is the next morning. So was not able to sell off any of the gray hats. So looks like we could be stuck for them. 
with them for a little bit. Um, one thing I did do though, I did end up buying the Maple Blackjacks and sold off the rest of the Guthix pages. So now up to 12k, the hats and the Maple Blackjacks. Now these should be able to sell somewhere near 5k. So 5.3 is what I'm going to put them in for. We'll hope for the best. Now with the gray hats, uh, I'm guessing it's going to be just best to see what they buy for. However, I don't have a whole lot of confidence. Yeah, so uh, looks like we're going to lose, you know, maybe 50 GP per one. That's not bad. I'm just going to get my money back out of these because there's really no point in having them. I uh, had a lot of classes today, but 15.9K off of all of those Maple Jacks. So obviously a good merch there. Turn 9K into 16 and all the gray hats are sold. So in total up to 33K now. All right. I went to do a little bit of homework. So back in about an hour and a half and yeah, <laughs> no hair towel. Talismans, no uh, muddy keys have sold. Uh, really not surprised by the air talismans. Those are going to be a long shot, hopefully, in the future. The muddy keys, I'll lower a little bit to 4K, but these bandos, croziers, I'm not exactly sure how you say that. Apparently, I can sell them for about 9K each. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to try to do that. 9200, and that would be 30K that I'd be pretty happy to have. Pretty much after I stopped recording that clip, surprisingly enough, we sold two on. I didn't really think that that was going to be a thing. And here we go. So, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I just need to store my 55 GP, hoping for a long shot. But uh, Granite Shields right now apparently have a 20k margin, and they buy and sell relatively quickly. Um, I was planning on going to bed, but it, I mean, this is a pretty good merch, and if I can sell this off pretty quickly, I may stay up in time to actually be able to merge a couple of these, and maybe we can reach 100k off of them. And here we go next morning. So, uh, yeah, I, I was tired. I fell asleep. I couldn't merch it anymore. Uh, I, wait, I waited like 20 minutes. It didn't sell, but now it has sold. So Granite Shield off for 54k. On top of that, Pink Elegant for 9. Um, at this point, I'm really just going to have to buy an Air Talisman. Obviously, these aren't going to sell as is. Um, even at that price, I mean, 80, I guess we're making a little bit of money off of each of these. Not really a whole ton. I'm not all too worried about them at this point. Really, they were just kind of a long shot thing that I was kind of hoping for. And here we are, another Granite Shield sold off. So, as you guys can see, I did do a merch a little bit ago where I was able to make a little over 9k. And, uh, now we definitely just made 13k, I believe. Yeah, 13 off of that. So, up to 86k in total. Now I can buy two of these shields, which will really allow me to start, you know, flowing in the money. I don't even know what just happened. Um, I was able to buy one granite shield uh, for t -t 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 about 34, yeah, 37.4, and somehow I sold one for 70k. Now, I don't know uh, how. I thought I had the offer in, just sitting there waiting to sell for 50k, and somehow it sold for 70. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm definitely happy to take the coins. And there we are. Got three Granite Shields to sell off. I did actually have another merch in here somewhere uh, after that 70k one. Oh, that one was really nice. But the margins went down, so back down to 47k, but we are now up to 160. While I would normally probably switch up the item that I'm going for, at the moment, Granite Shields are providing a 10k margin, and I can't turn down an easy 40k uh, if they're buying and selling this quick. There we go. Did uh, did a lot of uh, did a lot of flips of these, so basically I was able to sell off two, as you guys can see, and I was able to buy another two. I think there was another merch in there somewhere, but oh man, we are killing it with these merches right now. What yeah, so see, I'm about to make 13k profit off of all these, which is definitely really nice. And, uh, yeah, we'll sell those on for 98k. That'll bring us up to 210 total. Gonna go ahead and merch a couple more of them. Alright, so I left for a little bit. I tried to do some merches, as you guys can see. I mean, these death runes were kind of just a uh, throwaway merch. I didn't really think uh, anything would come of it, but obviously made... A staggering 600 GP. Um, on top of that, uh, sold off all of the granite shields, and now in total we are up to 220k. All right, a few warrior rings coming in at 71k. Should be able to sell them for about 80, so nice little bit of profit there. Obviously 80k. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and do an ancient page one. Apparently I can buy these for about 180k, and uh, the sell price is about 250. So uh, if we're able to buy one of these and sell it off relatively quickly, it'll be a decent merge. And there we go, got the ancient page to sell, so that is a 62k profit there, definitely happy with that. And now going to go ahead, check out the mine shields, we got them for 19k a pop, and should be able to sell them for 34k per one. So I was able to merch all of the mine shields, however, now we're kind of at a standstill, we got nothing really going on. But we do have a lot of cash now, so up to 353k. Kind of hard to keep up at this point, one thing that I have to work on with this video is the fact that all these 10k merches, while they are fun and exciting, um, it's, it's hard to keep track. 
track of all of them because the video can only be so long. So before I go any longer, basically, I uh, flipped four Kirill skirts. The first two were for 11k profit, so 22k there, and then 4k per one here. Overall, you know, 30k made there. Now, once we go up, I was able to make 23k per Ceridome and Dehyde that I've been doing lately. So in all, we are up to 430k. Going to go ahead and start buying more of these because that is some nice profit and they buy and sell pretty quick. Here we go. Treasonous rings have actually been pretty decent for me, as you guys can see. I was just sold one for 645k. Uh, before this, though, I did merge some purple sweets for a little bit just to be able to get enough cash for the treasonous ring at the time. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I had enough, but I was able to merge it for 45k the first time, and then the second time I was actually able to merge it for. 90k so we are up to 730 and there we go we did a lot of Ceridum and sword merches but they were definitely really good so as you guys can see i started off with a about a 50k margin and then it went down a little bit i had to start selling for you know a little under 40k but definitely happy with it i did seven merches so i made a little bit over 200k probably closer to 250 and in total we are now close to one mil and this would seem to be where the entire video takes a turn look at this what the hell so uh yeah i came back from class i uh, decided to go on and look at some margins real quick and I found that Kirill's leather skirts had a pretty good one um <laughs> so I was able to sell one for 115k profit as you guys can see there and then I lowered the price by 1000 just to make sure that that person was undercutting me that bought that undercutting overcutting it's a really kind of annoying thing about merching but you know I was just making sure and I sold off another two so <laughs> I've made 360k so far in you know maybe five minutes these things buy and sell relatively quickly and i have another four after this that i can hopefully buy and sell but up but right now as far as total cash we're over 1.4 mil so killing it a little while later here we are with some dragon chain merches so uh yeah i did end up buying another five carols leather skirts but i was only able to merch these for 25k the margin went down pretty quick as you would assume so in total i ended up making you know 125k in that merch which is still nice and then from there i went ahead and merch four dragon chains for 50k per one so that was a 200k profit and now we are up to 1.7 mil here we are a little while later went ahead and merch some uh holy sandals tried finding some margins i obviously merch some uh i guess not obvious i guess i haven't checked in with it yet uh, merch some Varax skirts though. I made, you know, 40k on each one. I ended up merching three in total, so 120k profit. But, uh, yeah, ended up buying these holy sandals for 466k each, and which means I went ahead and made 40k on each one, 120k profit again, almost up to 2 mil. And here we are. So the Grotesque Guardians just came out, so I don't have it in my history anymore because a lot of stuff had to happen on this account. But I did end up buying a pair of Armadillo boots, uh, both for 800 and around 850k per one. Now I, I was able to sell one overnight for 1.4 mil. Uh, I saw the margin before I went to bed, and I was hoping maybe I'd be able to jump in on it. And obviously, I took full advantage of that. So uh, gonna go ahead and sell off these for hopefully 910k. Maybe I mean they could insta sell. Yeah, 912. Well, that's fine with me. Up to 2.7 mil, though. Definitely really nice. So I did get 100k merch on this blowpipe and then another 100k here. Uh, then I went ahead and checked the Toregs margin because I wasn't really entirely sure what it was. And it was 103k. So I lost 103k there. So in total, up 100k still. And then, uh, yeah, going forward, that's all just stuff I'm buying for the Gargoyle boss. But I ended up buying four for 270. This one was checked to see what the price could sell was because obviously it dropped. And so in total, off of these four, I ended up selling them for a 240k profit so all in all about 340k profit and we're up to a little over three mil now and here we go so i do have uh, a lot of malediction shards and this isn't as i guess it's it's very close to merch basically it took me all night to buy these typically they buy pretty slow i'm gonna go to the wilderness and put them together and sell them off as shields and show you guys how much i make but before that i do want to say that i did make a little bit of money off of two uh tanzanite fangs basically with tanzanite fangs um they are pretty much blowpipes all you have to do is use a chisel on them and then they become a blowpipe and I was making 200k per one yesterday so I ended up making 400k before I went to bed and then they weren't going anymore so I switched it up and went for malediction shards so I uh, ended up buying two as you guys can see for about 1.576 uh, K per one so yeah uh, we should be able to sell them for about 1.8 mil it should be a 200k profit per one and we are definitely looking good as far as the five mil also got another 306k right here that got stored and there we go so did manage to sell off the malediction wards for a total of 3.5 mil I ended up spending a little over 3.15 so I guess in total it's about a 300 and close to 50k profit so definitely happy with that in total now up to 3.8 mil we are closing in one of the
the problems that I've seen, and I'm probably just going to have to give away the money to some free-to-play player because this guy has not logged on in, like, three days. He just, I asked him if he was going to be on. He said he would. He lied. And here we are. So, uh, I have one more granite hammer to sell for 948k, but I did go ahead and profit off of three of them, almost 100k per one, so that's obviously 300k profit. If I sell this one, that's 400, but right now I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to buy, yeah, three more, or I guess, yeah, three more. Why not? I mean, if I'm making 100k each, that's way too easy, and these things buy and sell pretty quick, and they haven't dropped a whole lot, so I'm pretty happy. I managed to sell off another set of granite hammers, so as you guys can see, I bought another three and uh, was able to sell two of them for 100k profit and the other one for 25k profit so in total off all the granite hammers i think at this point i've made probably about 650k maybe a little bit more a little bit less but up to 4.4 mil we are closing in and i can't do any more hammers because i think i hit my limit this could be it i did do a little bit of merches earlier as you guys can see these toxic blowpipes i made 100k on two merches of just the blowpipe itself and then i ended up making 120k on this one to changing the tanzanite fang to a blowpipe and then another 100k right here on top of that made barely any money at all on these rings of recoil but i did make 70k on each one of these granite hammers giving me a 200k profit there as well now collecting i think that oh you're so close okay 13k away and here we are five mil i ended up merching another 14k zora scales for one jp merch on each one pretty quick stuff and uh yeah over five mil now so i'm gonna go ahead and give it away at this point he hasn't logged on at all i told people in my clan chat to even add him and he hasn't come back uh, i guess that's a problem that comes with giving or I guess kind of promising a level six some money, but I'm gonna go to free to play We're gonna find someone that looks like they need a little bit of money and uh, yeah, we'll make someone's day So we did we, we did finally get a trade. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how to say this guy's name Arbwick jr. I asked for 5k this man gives me 10 what a baller all right, 10K in a free-to-play world. I appreciate that, man. All right, get back here. Let me let me give you this. Come on. Come on in, buddy. All right, hopefully he enjoys it. There you go, man. Oh, one GP turned into five mil. Hopefully this guy has a good time with it. Appreciate that, man. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, so I have my public on. Thanks. Thanks, man. All right, there we go. So hopefully he enjoys it. Yeah, that's definitely going to help him out a lot. I mean, granted, he has some gold G, and he's looking pretty fly right now, but I think that five mil can help him out. So enjoy that, man. And uh, yeah, so that'll be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like. If you guys want to see more merching videos like this from me, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe for future videos. But with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and peace.